Hi everyone, I'm Holly and I'm here to pack orders from the holiday release that went live on November 11th. And we have a lot of orders to get through today. I am only going to do the two videos this time. I think there's going to be 11 orders and I did have to do a drawing and pick randomly because I had a whole bunch of requests, which is so awesome. But um, I can only do so many, so I chose 11. And this first one is going to Elizabeth in Connecticut. I keep wanting to say Kentucky and I don't even know why. I have my little tree over here, but you probably can't even really see them. I'd have to scoot down just a little bit. But I have my little tree, got some cutesy pine cones, and my little piped holly that I did. Okay, I'm gonna move it back over just a little bit. So it's not too much in my way. Alright, so into this order, we have the Peppermint Snowflake Sea Salt Soap. So classic, do it every single year. And it's just an adorable little snowflake. Those are so fun. So we're going to put that here. Do two of those. And then we have a Merry Cranberry Sugared Whip Soap Scrub. And this one is new for this year, the Cookies, Coffee, and Claws. I just think it turned out so cute. And this is a mix of chocolate chip cookie fragrance and our regular coffee fragrance. Now, to my nose up here in the studio, it's not super cookie-ish. It, it definitely leads towards the coffee bean um, type scent that I normally use. But it's still quite delightful and I just love how the label turned out. Hopefully it'll focus for you. I just love it. But I had a little bit of an issue with my label. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to start getting these ones professionally printed. So I have my batch numbers on it. I'll have to come up with something different that I can do. Because those ones don't play, those uh, label shapes don't play nice with my printer. And I actually have to hand cut every single one. And I ran out of labels, so I had to like panic, buy some new, um, oh, what do I use? The uh, full sheet so that I could cut it myself with the paper cutter. Okay, blah, blah. We have, let's put in the mints next to those mints. And at this point that I'm filming this, I don't have any holiday product videos up on the channel. I don't know where these videos are going to go up in the lineup, but I have a lot to do. So once I get done packing the orders from this release, I'm going to really focus on videos. We have a peppermint, the peppermint stripes, and a cranberry mint. They smell amazing. We have two, woo, two Merry Cranberry soaps. I just love this one and this one always sells so so well and so I made a double batch of it and it didn't sell very well this time so I have over a hundred bars of Mary Cranberry left at this moment so that's gonna be interesting oh goodness I over made a lot of stuff I always sell out and so you know I made like double apparently about the range I sell out is about my selling limit so I'm gonna keep that in mind I'm gonna really back off of what I'm making again so we have a couple of the snow candy soaps and this one is a very unique scent it is marzipan and fluffy almond icing with hints of rose and is it cassia or cassia I'm not quite sure how that word is pronounced but there's some people, it's a duplication of a popular type of a scent, so some people will really recognize that and love it. Some people um, won't like that one as much as some of those line of scents tend to be a little bit more on the musky side, but then the people that love it just love it. So that's why it's back again this year especially. We have a sleigh ride in Winter Wonderland soap. The sleigh light turn sleigh ride <laughs> sleigh ride turned out just a little bit darker this year it does discolor in general but 
Um, I think I put too much fragrance in the parts that were supposed to not have as much fragrance. So they'd be a little lighter, but hey, that's the way it goes this time. So, oh, these are my favorites. I love these. I have both of these in my shower right now. Cranberry Cocktail and Fraser Fur of the Farmhouse Collection for the holidays. And this one, if you're a soap maker, you'll know who Brambleberry is. This is a fragrance they put out last year and I bought it and I didn't get to use it. And it's just a really pretty cranberry, I think there's some raspberry and some thyme, it's really pretty. And then I have Fraser Fur also, which is just your classic evergreen. Oops, I don't want to put two together. So we're gonna put them like this. Most of these are soaps, but I got to fit in, I need to fit in a couple of bath bombs. We have a lemon farmhouse soap. And let's see how I want to do this. That'll fit, but that's getting a little bit snug. So I think, I think we're just gonna have to come in a little bit there. And I'm hoping I have enough room for the bath bombs. I think I will if I do this so that they could sit kind of on top of those right there. All right, we have flannel and amber. So I guess we'll do that. Hmm, I think what I may need to do is these can stand up. So maybe we'll do that and then we'll get more fit in there. We have a figgy cream. Those are sold out now, so I'm gonna have to get those remade. We have a buttered rum soap. We'll put that right there. We have High Society. Now the fall release had a lot of just regular line soaps coming back, so um, those are what are still left over from the last release. We have green clover and aloe and cranberry limeade. Hmm. Hmm. Well, those that actually works. That's close. That does not work. All right. So, yeah, this will be fine. We'll just put these like here. So we had that cranberry limeade and then an oatmeal milk and honey. I just love this one. Mm, they're so good. And I got to thinking, why do I not have one of those in? My shower or at a sink? I do not know. So my shred for this release is craft and white and like a forest green. So pretty, so pretty. I just realized it did not prepare any of my samples. I mean, they're prepared. I just did not bring any over. All right, you, you set like so. All right, so we have lastly, Yes, lastly, we have two Winter Wonderland bath bombs. So those are wonderful. And inside we have just a little bit of the um, bath bomb mix. <laughs> I made a little bit of it blue. So inside are, um, the inside is blue. And so those will pop out a little bit of uh, blue for you. So I have some of my stretchy paper that I'm gonna wrap the bath bombs in. So I have been packing for quite some time here, several days already. And about, I don't know, we were into my last release a little bit, I think when the post office uh, um, increased their prices. And I had just been so shocked at the amount of this box. Everything is around $20 now. The, oh gosh, I can't even. It's just amazing to me that shipping is, it's just so high. There, those go in quite nicely. This is everything, my goodness. I mean, everybody knows, everybody's dealing with it. I ordered some lye last week for my soap making. I have quite a bit, but I recently uh, made this huge purchase. It's not huge, huge for me. It'll get me 40 batches down the road, which will get me through the spring probably. But um, I bought a bunch of oils from an, a newer supplier in Kansas City, which is amazing that us Missouri and Kansas and you know Nebraska and Iowa peeps, we have a closer supplier now. 
And um, so my husband ran up and just picked up the order. And so we saved a lot of money in shipping. Oh my goodness. I mean, he had to take a day off and he had to drive up there. And he had to put, it was about $100 of diesel in our truck. Um, but he filled the whole eight foot truck bed full of our soaping oils. But I did need to catch up on the lye because lye has just been like going up so quickly. So I had about, I don't know, I, had, I already had like 60 some pounds of lye. So I decided I needed to buy like another 60 some pounds of lye. It went up a hundred dollars. I was, oh my gosh, every time we sit down at the computer to order something, we're like, what is happening? Okay, so I'm trying to think. I don't have any wax melts in this order. So I'm going to put in the soap sample. And it's just a uh, evergreen type, classic, kind of classic scent for the holidays. And then I have my hot cocoa packet. We have a hot cocoa I think it's Swiss Smith, and then a couple of candy canes, and we're always super careful when we package everything, you know, soup, we're all super clean and, and do all the right things. So we have the cocoa and the candy cane in there, and that's just always so fun. That's just a classic thing that I do. Now, my card. <laughs> it's all right, and it probably looks better from where you're at. I do like it. I did have to edit the uh, bulbs because it showed me taking the picture and all of them so I kind of uh, I did some little painting around there with my, my my pooter and then but even though I feel like I take decent pictures I just they just even though I like use the right color and I, I shoot and raw and all that I just don't love how they turn out so I think maybe next year I may look into having someone do it for me so that I can have a little prettier card. All right, so we're looking pretty good here. And this was two orders that I was combining. Now, I don't have any other samples. I That's what helps to make the holiday packing go better. I stick with one soap sample, one wax melt sample. And so it's really easy just to pack them up and go fast. So unfortunately, I don't have like a ton of samples to put into every single order. So. New story, this paper makes me twitchy and I don't know what to do about it. So normally I would just fold it over here and put my sticker, right? Well, all the trees go one direction on this paper and it's not the direction I prefer. So it makes me a little twitchy and I fight with this, like literally every order, I'm like, this isn't right. So do I put the sticker sideways so that you can open it like this? Do I just put the sticker right? I just don't know. So I just, it literally changes every single order that I do. I can't decide. My husband's like, your particularness is getting the best of you on that one. He's like, you just need to slap that sticker on and move on. So this lovely order, and it's quite heavy too, it is headed to Elizabeth in Connecticut. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, so this order is going to Candace in California. Thank you for your order, Candace. I've chosen a medium rate box, medium flat rate, and we're gonna try to get it into here. But if we can't, then I may have to move into a B, which is still reasonable, and it's a little cheaper than a large flat rate still. So. We have a very large amount of wax for this one. We have vintage Christmas and watermelon wax melts. And most of my clamshells are very, um, they're very plain, but the Christmas ones do have, ooh, look at that, isn't it pretty? I love it. I love, I think this one is called Jingle Jangle from The Good Glitter. That's a good one, I love it. I got several of the glitters from them this year. I just love them. All right, let's see here. We're going to California. I don't know, it's just, I know, I'm all over the place with my, my words here. I don't know if it's that warm in California, but one person I follow, a Doberman lady, 
on Instagram, it was 97 where she was. So I'm going to put a little of the shred on the bottom. So that's going to take up a little, bit, a little bit of space. So we're going to go in with our gingerbread person. Super adorable. Has glitter and some sugar sprinkles on it. I will probably try to figure out how to do that different next year so it's just not so big. And the same with my trees. I've been trying to go to melts that you don't have to like cut for smaller amounts. We have, but these aren't it. Uh, Bayberry. And this is actually just a white base with some mica in it, but it kind of turns it a, a greenish color and then I drizzle some more green on it. So we have that. We have Festive Forest, which I absolutely love that glitter this year. It just looks like perfect Christmas lights. I know it's a little, it's kind of uh, glary for you there. And then it's just, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. I think it's called Merry Lights from the Good Glitter. It's perfect. And then this one is Fraser Fur, and it just has some gold glitter. So we're going to lay down just a little bit of my my stretchy paper. I probably should bring over a clip. Hold on. Cutie little clip. Maybe that'll help it help you be able to see. Alright, let's see now. Let's go in with, I think I'll put all the bars on the top because they're super light. So let's go in with some donuts. We have Pumpkin Time at the Bakery from the last release. And we have Eggnog Cream. So cute. And actually... Oh yeah, we could fit those there. So we have Twinkle Season, Twinkle Lights, Twinkle Season. <laughs> That's where I was going with that. On those. And then we have, let's put in our Pumpkin Souffle. Those were still from the last release. I had remade a bunch. And so I had just a little bit of those hanging on. Alright, good. Put a little layer of shred down. Just to give it a little of a buffer there between them. Yeah, that's good. Oh yes, I think I think we'll be fine. We have peppermint and vanilla wax melt macarons. Oh, they're so cute. And I originally planned on making a video for these, but oh, it was so crunched for time. So I just kind of had to, I had to get ready. I really only had about three weeks between when I quit packing orders, um, you know, lots of orders from the fall release until I had to put this one out. So that was a really quick turnaround. I really was booking it, making <laughs> these wax melts. My favorite, Plum Crazy Light. I just adore these. I've made them year after year after year. They're, oh, they're just a favorite. Now, this is a same scent, but new design. These are candy cane cookies. And I usually make them in the gingerbread person shape, white and red. And I thought, you know what, let's switch it up. And I think everybody really liked the design better. So that's great. Now these are cinnaberries, and this is a new scent. It's just, uh, you know, let's look at it exactly. Sugared raspberries, juicy orange, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla. Oh, they're so good. They're that spicy, like red Christmas type scent that can be super good. There's one that's, you know when you go to Walmart, I've been there in years, but when you go to Walmart and you have like a red candle and you have a green candle, well there's like one that's like a berry but it doesn't have a spice. And then there's the green one. I just love them both. But then there's usually another one hanging out around there somewhere. Maybe it's white that's kind of like berry with a little bit of a, a spicy note. That's what. This one's very similar to. Love it. Oh, I was thinking about putting that bath bomb there, but oh, that's fine. We'll put bars there instead. Okay, so now we just have bars and the bath bomb. Let's get the bath bomb in there. Do, 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 I didn't bring myself any paper. All right, so fun stretchy paper. I'm gonna roll up this bath bomb. 
And these are all, all the bath bombs from this release and the last re release were hand pressed. That was a process, let me tell you. Okay, I much prefer, I much prefer working with my press. My, my, um, pneumatic, is that what it's called? Air compressor driven, my bath bomb machine. I love that thing. I actually did make some steamers and then, you know, like some menthol steamers, but my dang packaging just did not work out. So I decided not to list those yet. So we'll see, they may still go on in December. All right, so let's put in the bars. I love these wax melt bars. So this is the sleigh ride. We have, I always think of these that go together, sleigh ride and winter wonderland. They're very kind of, I don't know, sister scents, I guess you might call them. And then we have Snow Kissed, which is a winter candy apple type of a fragrance. I don't think it's exact by any means, but it's very similar in its notes. This one, let's do, there we go. Those being a little ornery over there. And then we have a Holly Jolly. Holly Jolly wasn't around next next year. Oh goodness, I'm losing it. I was not around last year, but I was able to get the soap and the wax made for this year. And then we have the buttered rum from the last release. I pro probably should put these under the Christmas ones. So we have a caramel apple. These bags are just a hint large. I did shrink down for, I got a different bag for them for the, for the Christmas release wax melt. Okay, there we go. So we're just going to cover this just slightly, give it a little extra protection. We're gonna put in our soap sample. And let's see, I think it's, yeah, going that away. We're going to put in, I made some mulberry wax melts. These are in the light shape. And then our cocoa and candy cane. And then this one is ready to head off to California. I think I'm just gonna go sideways for now. Sometimes I even put the sticker crooked. I just, I can't decide what's right. Like I said, it makes me twitchy. Next year I'm going to look for paper that can go any direction. All right, were you yelling at me that I forgot the card in the last order? I went to put this person's card here and I'm like, oh, I forgot it. So if you yelled at your screen, I did not hear it. Okay, so this one is going to Deanna in Wisconsin. We have a Mary Cranberry scrub, and I did hand pipe the scrub. Normally I'm not the piper, but I did do it this time and it really is pretty. So I will probably do that more often. We have a lemon farmhouse soap again. I'll put that here. We're going to put in a peppermint stripes soap. And then we have a snowberry soap. And this is the one that's white with all the embedded soap balls. Now, I was really afraid that I was not gonna be making enough. I did two of my smaller lo uh, molds. They're still 50 to 60, 50? I think they're 50. No, they are, they're over 50. Anyway, nope, they're 50. <laughs> trying to remember everything. Anyway, I made two of my 50 bar molds and I was just afraid I wasn't gonna have enough. Well, lo and behold, that one didn't sell this year either. I did charge a little bit extra because it took nine hours for me to roll and prepare all those soap balls. And my time is of value, but apparently it wasn't worth that extra dollar. So anyway, I love it. I do love it. I don't know that the holiday release will look the same next year. I'm thinking about making some changes for next year. My um, 
my kid I have two of my kids my oldest and my youngest they are both um, November babies and so it does not matter when it doesn't seem like I planned this whole thing it's always encompassing their birthdays right before Thanksgiving so I would like to be a little bit more present for their birthdays so I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see what we're gonna do I didn't even show you this did I so this is the Mary Cranberry bath bomb and I decided to get a little bit fancy and paint his face I wasn't gonna do the rest because that's just not who I am I see them and they're beautiful but that's just not me and some of the black spots moved around when I was shrink wrapping him them so that was kind of annoying so I did mark them down just a hint and the bath bombs and the scrubs did sell really well this year so that's awesome those sold out pretty quickly I have some ideas for some bath bombs and stuff I might bring on in December if I have the energy and the time. So on this paper, we did fold it differently so that it comes out right for me, but when you open it, it's upside down. And it's just, to me that is just wonky. Just wonky. All right, we're going to put in the card and the invoice, the candy cane, and the cocoa. And then this order will be headed off to Wisconsin. Okay, so this order is headed out to Amy in Indiana. Thank you for your order, Amy. So appreciate it. We have the peppermint snowflake sea salt soap. We have a snowberry, a snow candy. Let's see how we want to do this. Eh, not really not really okay let me see if this will there oh yeah that works fine so now I'm gonna put the wild berry blizzard wax melt in and look at the bottom isn't that so cute that took a while <laughs> whoops I'll just whoa Glitter everywhere. The top has some fun glitter on it. I just love this scent. It smells so good. It's just a mix of a whole bunch of different berry scents that I use. Oh, there's glitter. There's now glitter inside the package. So cute, looks amazing, smells amazing, love it. All right, let's see what's gotta go in here still. Put just a small layer in there. We have the peppermint vanilla macarons again. And these ones are a little bit big. I'm gonna look into maybe some smaller ones. We're gonna see. We'll just see. We have the plum crazy lights. And this fragrance is winter plum, berries, apple, honey, vanilla, and rum. It's so good. So good. Well, it looks like we're just going to have a hint of room to spare in this box, but I didn't have enough room in my next box down. So we're putting in the candy cane cookie ones. This one had soap and wax melt items, so we're going to put in little trees of the mulberry. It's so pretty with that gold on the top love it put that there we'll put our soap sample there our hot cocoa packet and then oh almost forgot again boy i am just on a roll on that whole forgetfulness thing we 
we're gonna put a sticker on this one. Normally I do a, like a holly uh, green and red fun sticker, but I just thought that would clash too much with my paper. So for this year I went with just the same label I always use. Okay, so this one is a little bit different and Alex made this purchase for his mother and said that Andrea watches our videos and loves them and would love to be featured. So this one is for Andrea. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying our videos and thank you to Alex for placing your orders. We just really appreciate you guys. And we're going to put in, let's see what we've got going on here. We have, we've got Figgy Cream and River Rock. Nice, love those. We have Wildberry Blizzard. Let's see, how many do we have going on here? I think I'm gonna do this different actually. Let's see, we'll do, we'll do that. So then we have Wildberry Blizzard and Black Raspberry and Vanilla. I'm gonna have the Wildberry Blizzard around for a while. I still have bars of this original batch that we put out for the fall release and then I did go ahead and make another batch. So I have another one coming on, but these last well into the new year so that's fine we love that sin one of my favorites and then we put a little bit well we're not gonna put shred down so we can turn it upside down we have a winter wonderland just love this one i used to make this one with soap balls as well but i have learned that i can only roll so many soap balls so i have last few years i think that is the way the design has been it's one of my favorites to make just like that with the blue because you know I love blue. I love blue and I love purple. So this one, happy holidays, Andrea. So I've got my luxuriously handcrafted in Billings, Missouri and all that jazz. So we're gonna put in the soap sample here and we're gonna go ahead and put in the invoice in the card the cocoa and candy canes. I don't want this to show anything, so I guess this is kind of a weird weird way to do that, but isn't that a nice little package? It's so cute. I love it. Oh, this is such a fun season. It starts so early for, you know, businesses. We started, I started making the holiday soaps, I think, in July. Maybe it was a little bit sooner than that. Whew. It's a long old season, but it's so much fun. So much fun. Okay, so this one is headed out to Cheryl in Pennsylvania, and Cheryl is a soap making friend of mine, and we talk pretty much every single day. So hello, Cheryl, and thank you for your order. We're going to tuck in a farmhouse for a far couple farmhouse ones, I should say. A well, Fraser fur and a cranberry cocktail. Wink, wink. We're gonna put those in. And then, let's see, we'll put in just a, a little bit of shred. And then we have a cranberry rhubarb preserved room and linen spray. I still can't get over that one. It smells so good. I just love it entirely too much. Okay, and then we're going to put in an eggnog cream wax melt set. We'll put that right there. And then, let's see, we could probably put, so we're gonna put in a couple of the cranberry rhubarb preserves wax melt bars. That's a little, that's feeling a little bit tight. Let's do that like so. And then, I why would that have any more space there? I don't know. I think I might have gotten where the box is a hint too small, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get everything in here. Maybe we're gonna tuck the sample, which is the um, the trees, and I forgot to bring over a soap. I just can't stop with the with the forgetfulness. We're gonna put this one here. Not fold it over a bit. That'll work. We're gonna try to tuck. Will you go here? 
as well. So we're going to put that sample there. And then I have a little piece of the stretchy paper. And we're going to go like so. Alright, so now we've got all those in. And let's see. Walked right by my candy cane and cocoa and I still forgot to grab one. So we're going to put that in. And then, yeah, that's all going to work fine. Yes, we're going to do... We're going to do this, and it's going to be happy. It needs to stay put. And the bags are big like that. They kind of pop everything up. All right, we'll move these. Oh, yes. This is perfect. There we go. Oh, so much fun. I have developed, met, I guess is the better word, some of the most amazing people. In fact, a uh, soap making friend that I made years and years and years and years ago, she thought it was funny that I said smack or something like that on the, <laughs> remember what, thump it, smack. Anyway, the soap molds. Um, we started talking many years ago. My goodness, it must be eight. Is it maybe more than eight? I don't know. Anyway, she just sent a text to me that said, hey, hope you're having a good day and all goes well. And I thought, isn't that just the sweetest? I have just been blessed with amazing people in my life from soap making and from the videos. It's amazing. Okay, I think I'm going to close out this part one. I am going to immediately start filming part two, and I hope that you will stick around to watch the next part. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for ordering, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.